Freaks and Geeks, right? Yeah. We were talking about this before. It's this show that is such a phenomenon post mm. it being canceled. I feel like you probably can't do an interview without someone wanting to bring up Freaks and Geeks, right? No, and it's fine with me. People really? sometimes apologize for it, but I don't know why. I'm proud of it, you know? Well, absolutely. You should, yeah. I, I, I loved the show. I, I continue to love it. Like, I feel so lucky. It's one of... How can you not be proud of that it's show? It's one of the few shows that I find makes like makes me weepy. Really? Well, you know, I was in a coffee shop this morning and Styx's Come Sail Away was yeah, playing. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And I immediately thought of uh, that 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 ending with yeah. Ben Foster, Eli, right? Where, yeah. And I got I got teary eyed like thinking about it. It's such a beautiful moment. It is. It was such a beautiful script too, and then being part of it. it, it it just was unlike anything at the time that I was reading. Mm -hmm. And I remember that I was up for two other projects that never actually ended up making it, but oh, wow. that the networks were championing over this kind of, it was an in-house, as they say. And I got a call from an executive saying, you know, if you were smart, you would be putting yourself out first for these other things, because once you sign a test deal, that's your show, if you make, you know, if you get the part. And I said, I don't want to do anything in, until I test for Freaks and Geeks. And if I don't get that, then maybe something else. And uh, I got phone calls telling me I was wrong. And it turns out, it turns out I was right. <laughs> well, what did, you, what, what did you know about Freaks and Was it just the script? It was just like, the this script. Is a great script? It was and just the script, yeah. So it was just, at 25, you sort of had already, like, the kind of, the taste. To I was know. younger than that. Oh, you were younger? I was maybe 23 turning 24, but playing very young. And I had been playing very young for a while. But no, I just liked, I just knew what I liked to read. You know, yeah. if it appealed me to, to, to read, and if I felt like, lots of times I would choose a part on base that somebody else got to play it, I would just want to, you know, whatever, just had be you so met, angry that somebody else had the chance to play it. Then I know that I'm really, really passionate Had about. you met Paul and Judd yet at that point? No, no. So you just knew, based off this pilot script, which is a really amazing pilot, it's, if I, I, like, I went back and rewatched that recently, it's an incredible pilot, one of the best I've ever seen. It, it, yeah, and the way that Jake had directed it too, it just stayed mm -hmm. so true to to the feel and the awkwardness of of the the script and the feel of the show, which I which was in opposite you know was opposite of everything else that was on at the time, which might have been a commentary. So it's been uh, 15 years since the show aired. Wow! Right? Wow. So if it was 15 years later for Lindsay Weir, it would be 1995. Right. Okay. Right? Okay. Right, I did this. She might have some like, grunge clothes on, right? Some flannels and that. Yeah, kind is of that thing. where you think she would be in 1995? She'd uh, be like what, 31, 32? Wow. Um, yeah, I wonder what she'd be doing. She might be a professor. She might have. She might have taken after uh, Mr. Rosso. Really? Yeah, maybe she's <laughs> a guidance, guidance counselor, counselor? At, at some kind of uh, Ex -dead head guidance all counselor? women's college or something. I don't know. I was always so thrown by uh, Mr. Rosso's sort of final influence over Lindsay because. He essentially accidentally influences her to drop out of school and go become yeah, a dead yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he's the best, too, David. He's so fun. He, his scenes used to make me crack up. Him and Joe Flaherty used to always like that. I, I didn't break that easily back then. Really? <laughs> and, yeah, and they would, just, they would just kill me. And then you were so sad when you broke because they were doing such great things. You know, you didn't want to mess it up. Did you ever, did you ever see, uh, did, were there any ideas ever floated around as to where Lindsay might have gone in season two, season three? Yeah, we joked around that, you know, she got pregnant at the Dead concert or something like that, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know I what love, they had planned. I love imagining, like, a pregnant Lindsay Weir, like, hippie dancing at a yeah, Grateful yeah. Dead concert maybe, with a baby uh, maybe bump. maybe Kim Kelly. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I loved my one of my favorite episodes of that show was also the uh, the band episode. The, the, and yeah, the, I'm with the band. Or no, not the band episode. The one that was banned by NBC. Oh, banned! Oh, Kim yeah, Kelly Kim is my Kelly's, friend. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. What was the deal with that? What was so bad about that episode? It was harsh. Her home life was harsh, and it was like but a little kind of too beautiful the way that yeah, they and it was it. a little too harsh for for the network at the time. Wow. Yeah. And now you don't have to deal with any of that with Netflix. Nothing's gonna get. No, nothing's too harsh. <laughs>